Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode number 16. I feel like I'm really close to the camera. That was weird. I'm going to move y'all back to the smidge. Uh, I'm in a different spot of my house because today I... Well, I'll tell the truth. Halloween costumes are exploded in the room I usually film in. And I didn't feel like cleaning it up to film. So, and yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Speaking of Halloween costumes... Wait, did I... I said hi and welcome. I'm Ella. <laughs> welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, if you're new, you know, welcome. I just said that. Um, I hope you like it. <laughs> uh, hello to all the returning ones. Well, I always mess up the front part. I feel like I'm setting awkwardly, but you know, whatever. Uh, Halloween. What is today? Today's Thursday, October the 25th. 26th. Yeah, 26th. Because tomorrow's 27th and the 28th is Saturday. Anyway, Saturday, um, I might film a little Halloween-y video and share it with y'all. <clears throat> because my mom, my mom's church is having a chili cook-off candy hayride Halloween thing. We went to it last year, but uh, I wasn't making videos last year. But anyway, we'll wear our costumes there. So what I'm trying to get to is that we'll have our costumes on and you can see them then. And then also we'll be doing trick-or-treating and trunk-or-treating Halloween night or day night, <laughs> both on Tuesday. I feel like I really just babbled the heck out of the beginning of this video. Anyways, <clears throat> I thought it was really bothering me. I'm sorry for the, the <laughs> noises, but... Uh, that's just part of it being cold, which is actually being cold. I live in Tennessee. I don't know if any of y'all know that Tennessee, which is in the middle of the United States. Uh, not in the middle, but you know, like it's not north, it's not south, it's like in the middle. Um, and it's just now getting kind of cold. Like the last few days, a cold front's come through, so it's been pretty much in like the 60s during the day, and then cold, pretty cold at night. So, that naturally is going to make all of us get sick. <laughs> so, uh, right now, it's pretty cool outside today. I don't even know. Probably in the 60s. So, in the house, it's a little bit cooler than that. And I'm trying to procrastinate turning the heat on. Uh, for light bill reasons. <laughs> but, um, Jesse's not here, by the way, which I'm sure you've noticed. He's at my mom's. Oh, my God. Oh, there was a spider on the floor. <laughs> oh, almost had a heart attack. It's a fly. They come in because when I bring groceries in, I leave the door open and flies always come in. And then I have to chase them all day Thursday to kill them. Because uh, I grocery shop on Thursdays. Anyways, I'm very bad bully today. I actually have finished objects this week. Um, I have four finished objects. Kind of five because one of them's two part. But I showed you this last time. <clears throat> I'm not prepared today at all. I usually prepare a list of everything. So I have my phone. And uh, I will just look off of my phone. Let me pull Ravelry up. <clears throat> my throat is bugging me to death. I hope I'm not getting the gunk, the sickness. Okay. 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 Oops, I forgot to finish that. <clears throat> I'll show you. Good grief. I got some water. Oh, that made it worse. I almost choked on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, first is <clears throat> my first finished object. I think I actually finished this one first, too. I had him finished for a really long time, for about a whole week. The only thing I had to do was sew his feet on, and I was just... I hate sewing body parts on, and I was just procrastinating it. But I wanted to hurry up and finish it before Tuesday, because it's due to be done on Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember if it's the 31st or the 1st that he's due to be done. Either way, I needed to get him done before he was actually due to be done. Or I, he wouldn't have been finished. <laughs> but anyways, it's the little bat amigurumi. And it is Bat in a Pumpkin by Mary Smith. which It's a paid-for pattern, but it's on sale right now. I believe all of her Halloween patterns are on sale. I'm hoping her next uh, crochet along, since it'll be November, I'm hoping it's the turkey. Because I really want to make him. And it'd be nice to make him and get some free patterns, too. <laughs> But I want to make him anyways. If it's not the crochet along though, I probably won't make him this year. I'll probably wait and make him next year. But anyways, this is my little bat. 
I always refer to all my Amber Groomies as boys. I don't know why. I've just except the koala. That was a girl. <laughs> Very ugly girl. But this is my little bat. I made him purple. Uh, the purple is red heart accent. I showed it in one of the other videos. It's like a discontinued yarn. Um, I have two skeins. Well, I had two skeins. Now I have a skein in like a little ball. Uh, I don't know the, the name of the pink for his nose. It is red heart. I know it's red heart, but it's uh, it was a scrap, so I'm not sure. And then just black, white, and gold. These are all red heart. And he's fiber filled. <laughs> I had a hard time sewing his wings on and his feet. His feet were like uh, I guess oval shapes that I had to sew on and then put strings and pull them really tight to make it um, toes. I don't know how good you can see it. I don't know how well the lighting is in here. If I feel like it's bright, but I don't know. He sets in this pumpkin, which I hate the pumpkin. I think it's a goofy looking, but eh, it's done. And it'll set on our mantle <clears throat> throat. with my frog and my ghost until Halloween's over. I think he's so cute. I think I did really good on his little face. I tried to do the little white speckle things that make eyes look more real, I guess. I don't know. But I think I did them wrong, but he's still cute regardless. Anyway, this is a paper pattern. <clears throat> it is part of a crochet along. Mary Smith has uh, a lot. She does crochet along just about every month. I think she took a break in August. But typically every month she has one that lasts four months, four weeks, not months. Uh, she usually partners with other designers or something to, uh, you know, it's basically just a way to get their patterns out and about. But you can also win a pattern every week. You can try to win a pattern every week. And then usually at the end of it, everybody who participates and finishes gets a free pattern. So, uh, it's really cool. It's an easy pattern. I love it. I love her patterns. I would love to have all of her patterns and just make them all and just have them sent everywhere. Maybe I will one day. Alright. My next finished object. I wish I was more prepared, but I really don't want to stop and get more prepared. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Alright, I'll show Dobby. My sister saw this um, floating around Facebook or Instagram or something and she liked it and wanted it. His legs are very wonky. I need to like pin them. It's a little Dobby the house elf. It's meant to be a keychain, but I didn't have little yarn. I think it's original pattern calls for DK weight. <clears throat> and I don't have like any DK weight except for like random bits because it's not that. It doesn't. It seems like. Thinner yarn like that is bigger everywhere but America. <laughs> America, we're all about the worst today. <laughs> but, um, anyways, it's called the Dobby Keychain by Spin and Yarn Crochet. I think he turned out adorable. But, yeah, see how his legs are curling? I need to, like, I guess block it, kind of. I don't know how good you can block acrylic. But he came out pretty big, so I'm, he'd have been a little bit smaller had he been made with a smaller hook and DK yarn. He was made in panels. The person who made this is the one who's been putting down a ton of ragdoll um, amigurumis, I guess they would be called, or cuddlers or something. They got in real huge lately. Someone, it might have been her, I think it was her, made like, I think the original one was either the unicorn or the giraffe. But it got so big that whoever, they kept producing more and more and now everybody's making uh, ragdolls, which, and the ragdolls, like, pattern, typical pattern is panels. You make like flat panels and then sew them together. <clears throat> and he, he was a flat panel. He's like this eye, this uh, eyeball, light bulb type shape. His body and head was panels. And then his ears were each two panels. And then you did the arms and legs and the little knot of his um, pillowcase outfit <laughs> out of uh, while you were sewing it together. And then you just stitch the eyebrows on and eyes. I think the original pattern called for him to have green colored eyes, which I thought I had some, but I don't. I must have used them. So I just used solid black ones. I think he's cute, and my sister loves him, so. Uh, he's way too big to be a keychain, but she'll probably just sit him, you know, on the shelf for something. He's cute. It's a free pattern. I'll link it below. It was pretty easy. I think the most annoying part was his arm placement, as, as you can see. One of his arms is lower than the other one because I didn't do this part right. I was supposed to slip stitch this into the same hole and I slip stitch it in the one below it so his arm had to go in the one below that. But he's still cute. Afterwards I thought I should have made him a little sock or like just colored, you know, changed the yarn color a little bit down there to make it <clears throat> look like he had a sock on. But I didn't. <laughs> 
Okay, I don't have a project page for this. I haven't made it yet. This goes with the little baby sweater I, I shot a picture of. I have it. My sister already took it. <clears throat> but this is the matching little hat for it. Um, I feel like it's tiny, but I've not been around a newborn in forever, and my newborn was big. He was nine pounds, right over nine. He's nine one. But um, I took out one of his little hospital beanies because I have two left over. Uh, and measured it, and this is about the same size as his little hospital uh, hat that they put on when they're born. And it's pretty stretchy. But it goes with that little sweater. Um, I haven't made a Ravelry page for it, but I'm going to after this. I meant to already, and I forgot, because the pattern for the hat isn't on Ravelry. So I have to go to her blog and get the URL and all that stuff. But this was pretty simple. It was a little finicky up here. But I think it's just because it's little yarn. This is baby yarn, so it's like sport weight, I think. Um, I don't know. It might have just been me. Because sometimes with little yarn, I get frazzled. <laughs> but I think it's cute. It came out, it's the same repeated pattern as the sweater. And it's just cute. I hope that it fits. And I hope that they take pictures of that baby when it's born. It's not due until the beginning of December. But hopefully they'll take some pictures of it in this and the sweater so that I can see them. I love seeing pictures of people with things that I made. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure everybody does. Alright, that's all my crochet finished objects. I have a sewing finished object. <clears throat> and it's a bag, another bag. And it's ginormous. It's, it's bigger than the last one I made. It's bigger than the skeleton one. Uh, it's just candy corn on the outside with the yellow uh, drawstring cover. And then the inside is orange. And the reason this isn't orange is because I forgot to save any orange yarn <laughs> to um, make that out of. So I, I had some yellow, which it goes good anyways. And it's way bigger. It's a lot bigger than the skeleton one, which right now <clears throat> just has yarn in it from where I finished one of our Halloween projects, which I'll show. I'll explain that. That's what I'll do. Saturday, I'll film a little bit vlog style, uh, the Halloween stuff. And then when I come home and edit it, I'll might film a clip or the next on Sunday of explaining the crochet patterns that I made for the Halloween stuff. That's what I'll do. That's fun. But it's just a drawstring just like the other ones. It's the same exact pattern just instead of using fat quarters <clears throat> I did like with the skeleton one which is over there. I don't know why I keep looking. I sewed two fat quarters together which I guess made a fat half. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called but uh, that makes sense. And uh, as you can see I'm still not the best sewer. Those are not even at all but this is for my own personal use. I'm not going to sell this. So it looks fine and it's functional. And I think I did pretty freaking awesome. This little, this pattern is kind of woo. When I, when I, when I, blah, 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 blah. When I bought it, it was rolled up. So you only saw like an inch worth of the pattern. But then when I was opening it to iron it to uh, start sewing it yesterday, it hit me. I was like, woo, that's very like bright and eye catchy or whatever but I think it turned out super duper cute and even though it's Halloween themed I will be using it all the time I actually my sister got me <clears throat> oh I need to get those and show them to you some fat quarters that are Christmas themed for uh, payment for this and the little sweater she bought me that yarn that I showed last time and then the fat quarters and some ribbon and stuff to, uh, because I would have used that money on that kind of stuff anyways and my Walmart didn't have the Christmas ones but hers did but anyways, I can't wait to use this. I think it's cute. And I'll use it all the time, all year round until it falls apart. <laughs> Which might, might not take it that long to fall apart since I'm not the best sewer. <clears throat> and somehow the liner got bigger than the, the outside. But it don't matter. It's on the inside. As long as there's no holes where I will lose any of my stuff, it doesn't matter. And I will put something in there soon. Right now, other than this one whip I'm about to show you, which I'll probably finish later today. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, I've got, I still got the grease blanket, which I've not touched. I did make bobbins for it yesterday because I was going to start working on it last night and our power went out and all that for uh, maintenance on a pole. <clears throat> and I just, I was just, it's still sitting there. <laughs> but it has nice new bobbins waiting to be used. And my Santa, I've not worked on my Santa because I was trying to get the Halloween stuff done. But I've, I've now got everything for our Halloween costumes done and ready to go for Saturday. Uh... The only whip I have, I'll show you. Well, the only whip that I'm working on, other than the two I just talked about. <laughs> I will pick up working on Santa. Maybe this next come a week now that I'm done with the crochet along and the little dobby and all that. But this is for a, um, 
Oh, but I'll have the bag pattern linked below too. Pretty much always because I'll just leave it down there since I'm going to be using the bags. All right, don't judge me. This looks horrible. Um, <clears throat> this is a Tunisian a simple stitch washcloth, or it will be a cloth <laughs> once it gets bigger. Uh, it looks wonky because I'm new at Tunisian. This is my very first Tunisian project ever. I'm doing it as part of a uh, crochet along that's hosted by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage, Co Co blah, blah, blah. Cozy Cottage Crochet. And it's also hosted by Claudia at Craft uh, Crochet Luna. I almost said cra Crafty. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this is the one. Uh, Hannah's got two patterns and Claudia's got two patterns on their Ravelry groups. And you can participate in both or just one or, you know, whichever. And this is one from Claudia's group because it's the like the beginner's Tunisian thing. And I needed to go to the beginner's. Um, this is my big old Tunisian hook. I don't even know where I got this. I've had this and another one, and I have a pink one somewhere. A big, giant pink one. But I've had it forever and ever and ever. And I, for the longest time, I never knew what they were for. I was like, it looks like a needed needle, but it's got a crochet hook. I had no idea what they're for. And then, uh, you know, eventually, as I learned more about crochet, I, I learned what they're for. And, you know, some people call them Tunisian hooks, but some people call them Afghan hooks. I guess, I don't know. I don't know the difference. But, <laughs> um,. I lost my train of thought. I kept them because, you know, I don't know if you guys are like this, but if I have craft supplies, I don't want to get rid of it, even if I'm not using it, because you never know when you might use it. And that's how these were. I've had these for years, and I've never touched them other than moving them when organizing. And um, then I saw that, and I was like, hey, it's a new technique I could learn, just, you know, to have fun and learn new technique. Plus, it's a chance for me to win prizes, which is yarn and bags and all kinds of goodies that they're giving away. So... I thought, what heck, I'll make a cloth and enter it. It ends Halloween, so it ends Tuesday, so if you're interested in that, it'll be linked below, and you need to hurry over there and make some. But, um, it's fairly simple. Like, the technique is simple. I understand it. It's just the doing it is a little difficult. <laughs> and slow. I feel like I'm going so slow. I started this last night. My neighbors are yelling. <laughs> I started, excuse me, this last night, and got like that far and then this is how much I've done so far today and that's just picking it up and doing a few rows in between cleaning or cooking or whatever running errands and such I somewhere lost a stitch the pattern called for you to start with 26 I somehow had 27 and then I ended up losing one so now it's 26 but there's like a scoop there but you know it's my first one and it's just gonna be used to wash dishes with more than likely so I think this will be good for that because the back side it looks real, it looks knitted almost. And I've always heard that Tunisian looks knitted and they actually have a knit stitch in it. But it's bumpy, so if, I feel like it would be good to wash dishes with. But it looks cool and it's kind of pulling. The yarn that I'm using is Crafter's uh, Secret. Yeah, it's right over there. Uh, I can't remember the color. It's right over there, but I don't want to go get it because I might knock the camera over. It's Crafter's uh, Secret. It's a Hobby Lobby brand cotton but yeah I still have Santa like I said I haven't worked on it I haven't touched the grease pretty sure it's all my whips yeah so I need to start some more stuff I want to start Afghan but I don't know what I want to start I really want to make the peppermint throw that was real big last year year before last but I don't want to work with red and white because of the um the grease blanket but yeah I think that's everything. Alright, I'm going to run real fast and get that material and show you. I guess I could have gotten whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go grab that real fast. Alright. My battery may die because it's blinking, but maybe it'll hold out. Alright. She got me two ribbons. Red and white, just simple ribbons for the drawstringy part. And then each of these uh, fat quarters, she got me two of because I asked for two. <sighs> these are the ones I don't have. I don't need one. Okay, just need one each. These are the ones I don't have unfolded. Oh, wait, there's another one. This one's just light blue with snowflakes. I don't know if you could see that very well. I thought that'd be pretty liner. These, it's just red and white polka dots and stripes. Again, liners. And this one is super duper cute. I, don't, I would love to have like a skirt made out of this. It's like peppermints. Liners. Again. Alright. These ones are unfolded because I was looking at them myself. <laughs> I love cardinals. Okay, my phone, or my phone, 
my camera died, which is what I thought was going to happen because I forgot to charge it after we came back from the uh, pumpkin patch last weekend. <laughs> I kept talking forever. I wish it like buzzed or something when it died because it didn't, I didn't know it died until it auto shut off, which it takes like two minutes after you, after it died or runs out of, I don't know why. Actually, that makes no sense. I don't know. Anyways, I was about to show you um, the fat quarters that I have open, which I'm going to have to do this in a really weird way now because my tripod won't work for my phone. And my octopus. I love that picture. I'm going to try to throw these on the couch. It's going to be horrible. I'm sorry if it's horrible. Maybe I can lay them all out at once. Maybe that'll be better. Alright, let's just do it this way. The one I was going to show you first was the Cardinals. That's why I started to say that I love the Cardinals. <laughs> Not the teams, but the, the birds. This is, I have two of these ones. And then, Alright. This one I did say, whoop, uh, reminds me of a, um, like those old timey kitchen table cloths. I forgot what they're called. The plasticky ones that, like, my grandma used to have. <laughs> you know, if you spill something on it, you just wipe it right off. Which are cool. I would totally want some of those. But I think it's beautiful. It says season greetings. And it's got a bird on it. And some holly and some snowflakes. Two of those. I have two of all these. This one reminds me of wrapping paper. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a horrible angle. You probably saw it in my nose. This looks like a wrapping paper. Kind of looks like one that I have actually. <laughs> Just got uh, Christmas characters. Man, I can't believe it quit filming because I was talking about different bag patterns and everything. <laughs> Alright, this is the last one she got me. This one is beautiful. I, I wish it was... I wish... I don't know. I wish it was bigger. <laughs> it's like a little gingerbread village. It's so pretty and colorful. Alright. I put my hand in front of it. <laughs> uh, that's all the material that I got. You can see my house in the background. It's probably dirty. Maybe I should face this way. There you go, I can just see all my crafting stuff. But, um, I was talking about I wanted to use some of that material and the other, the rolled up kind, to make a bucket bag. And I was saying that Erin from Gimme Yarn 418 has her Etsy shop, which is uh, South Paw Creations. Uh, she started making an, uh, bucket bag which is like a bucket with like a drawstring on the top which is really cool I keep looking at myself I have to quit doing that um and I, I seen that and I was like oh man I want that so bad I want to learn how to make those kind of bags but I didn't want to ask her because it's kind of rude you know to ask someone because you know she's making money off of it so she doesn't want to just give out the pattern to everybody so I was scrolling on um Pinterest one day looking at fat quarter projects and I came across a bucket bag, so I went and immediately downloaded it because I was afraid that uh, whoever shared the pattern might delete their post or something. I'm going to take a drink of water. And, um, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> I downloaded it, and I'm going to make it. It takes six uh, fat quarters, I think. And it has, like, I think three decorative ones and then the liner one or something. That doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. It's bigger. But, <laughs> anyways, I'd be okay with just having one uh, solid outside and then an inside, you know. But whatever, that's something that you could mess with the pattern and do whatever. Uh, if I could think about it, I'll link it below too. If any of you guys are sewers and are interested in making project bags. I really like that one. I didn't put it up. <laughs> bag. and Because um, it's simple. It's really quick. It takes... When I'm not frustrated, or my sewing machine doesn't want to be an idiot, or my ball baby wants to run out of, you know, I almost said yarn, thread, uh, it only takes like less than an hour probably to make that bag. You know, probably like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Oh, I'm shaking the camera. I'm scratching my leg. But, um, I think that's everything. I don't really have many, anything going on in life updates other than Saturday. Oh, we might also be going to a museum in a, a uh, city next to ours. And they're having like a, they have a special exhibit of unusual and unique things. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like mm, what's the word I'm looking for? The picture they shared on Facebook looked like some kind of like goblin like doll thing that they have on exhibit. What is the word I'm looking for? It's like an old word. I can I can see it in my head, but I can't say it. <laughs> 
but it's you know it's just like creepy stuff it's for Halloween but I thought it died <laughs> or it filled up or something me and Devin is gonna go see that exhibit with my brother and his wife because he got married last Saturday well that's an update I guess I could have talked about that my brother got married last Saturday <laughs> uh, and I'm not gonna share a lot about it because I don't know if he would want a lot of it shared but anyways, I think that's about everything that I have to talk about right now. Everything is dying and getting full, so I need to hurry up and quit and just edit this and put it together. But um, I will see you guys next Friday. Well, actually, probably Sunday when I make the Halloween video. And then probably maybe in Halloween day. I don't know. You'll see me when you see me. <laughs> but my next yarn share talk video will for sure be next Friday. So I hope you guys are all doing good. And uh, leave me some comments if you have anything to say. Nice. <laughs> You leave a mean one, I will probably delete it after trolling you a little. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> oh, I did want to make a video soon about all the podcasters I watched. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Maybe, uh, eventually. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get off here and try to edit this horrible video that needs to be clipped together a million times. So I'll see you guys next, whenever. <laughs> Bye.